Mitsubishi Philippines has finally unveiled the full specs of their all-new 6th generation Mitsubishi Triton and oh boy, it is good enough to get me quite excited for this big boy right here. You see, in this video, we will find out why the top spec Mitsubishi Triton Athlete 4x4 is the best variant to get. Let's do this. Recently, car makers have been beefing up the features of their mid-spec variants to the point that it makes more sense to go for the middle rather than the top of the line. Top spec trims are usually equipped with more kit and features, but most of these are usually stuff we can do without. For the off-road enthusiasts though, it makes perfect sense to go for the top spec Mitsubishi Triton Athlete 4x4. At 1,915,000 Philippine pesos, it's priced well enough to compete against the other lifestyle pickup trucks while giving back a lot of features and off-road performance. So what exactly do we get with the Triton Athlete 4x4? But before we find out, special thanks to Mitsubishi Global City for providing the Triton to do this car feature. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. Now before we begin with the front fascia design, a little bit of a heads up guys. This is still the Thailand spec uh, Mitsubishi Triton Athlete. It's not yet the final production model that will make it to our shores by January 2024. However, it would look uh, practically the same when it arrives except that there are some, uh, some tiny changes in, in the bits and features of the Philippine spec model versus what we have here. So anyway, on to the design. Uh, yeah, when you look at the front fascia of the Triton Athlete 4x4, you will see that it is a definite head turner. People are going to stare at this mid-sized lifestyle pickup truck because it is a beaut. It's gorgeous. In fact, it has a lot going on for it with the front fascia. Well, we start off with the lighting units because we have here a really cunning and aggressive LED uh, lighting system there, full LED headlights, of course. And we also have a very large and very squared front grille. Now, I'm also detecting some design cues here that remind me of the Expander Cross, uh, mainly because of these uh, jigs here at the side and uh, yes those design cues are all part of the dynamic shield design language of Mitsubishi now a uh, fun fact guys the Mitsubishi Triton Athlete 4x4 here is actually bigger uh, when I say bigger it's wider it's longer and it's taller than the regular Tritons that we are getting in the local lineup here on the side, the Triton Athlete 4x4 gets a bunch of blacked out bits that work really, really well with this Yamabuki orange paint job that we have here. You see, we've got a blacked out power folding side mirrors with LED turn signals. We have a blacked out uh, wheel arches here. And we also have a blacked out roof rails, blacked out door handles, and of course, your step boards are also blacked out. Now the style bar here, which is also stuck from the factory, is also blacked out. But dude, when you check out the fuel cap of the Triton Athlete 4x4, uh, you'll see that it's a pretty large fuel cap here. In fact, I thought it's a flex fuel cap, it's just a regular diesel fuel cap, but it is really large, which is, uh, yeah, bagay. I mean, it goes well with the large size of this Triton Athlete 4x4. Now, all of these black bits, they go really well with 18-inch uh, blacked out alloy wheels here, which is pretty much the same size as the Strada Athlete from before. Uh, behind those wheels, we also have pretty much the same mechanical bits, uh, which means that we've got ventilated disc brakes here. We've got drum brakes at the back. And for the suspension, it rides on uh, double wishbones up front and leaf springs at the back. However, Mitsubishi says that they uh, retuned the suspension of the Triton Athlete 4x4 for maximum comfort 
But the only way we can test that is if we go out on a proper driving review video. Now the ground clearance of the Triton Athlete 4x4 is at 228 millimeters, which is pretty low for a lifestyle mid-sized pickup truck, but it's still good enough to do some off-road work. Under the hood of the all-new Triton Athlete 4x4, we get an all-new engine. You see, this, my friends, is a 2.4-liter bi-turbo diesel Myvec engine that can pump out 204 PS and 470 Newton meters of torque. Now, if you check out this engine, pare, I mean, look at the turbo. Look at the size of those bi-turbos. It's practically half the size of the diesel engine itself. And that, my friends, is a flex. It is a big flex. Now, this athlete 4x4 is also the only uh, Triton uh, 4x4 variant in the local lineup, as, well, as of the, this filming, uh, that is equipped with a 6-speed automatic transmission. So if you want 4x4, you want an automatic, you get the Triton athlete 4x4. It's also the only trim that comes with Mitsubishi's vaunted uh, Super Select 4-wheel drive system and active yaw control. So when you combine the active yaw control and the Super Select 4-wheel drive plus the fact that it's a 4x4 with an automatic transmission, well, you can see why the Athlete 4x4, the Triton Athlete 4x4 is absolutely worth the asking price. The Triton Athlete 4x4 gets an all-new interior here and I'm liking it. I mean, dude, this is really a nice place to be in. First up, we have this really comfortable uh, leather wrap seats here. We've got some tan leather on the sides, but we have Alcantara. Yep, that's right. We've got Alcantara material on the middle part of your seats. Of course, we also get power adjustments here, so that's also a big plus. Now, we have a nice and chunky leather wrap steering wheel here uh, that also tilts and it telescopes, so it's always nice to have that. But unfortunately, we kind of lose out on the paddle shifters from before. So yeah, even the Philippine spec athlete uh, 4x4 will not get the paddle shifters anymore. So that's a bit of a bummer, at least in my opinion. Now next, we have an analog gauge cluster here, but we do have a seven inch multi-information display in the middle that shows you all of your vital vehicle information. And when you move over to the infotainment system, we have a larger 9-inch touchscreen infotainment system here that comes with wireless Apple CarPlay, wired Android Auto as far as I know, and the image of a 360-degree view camera. Now, as for the safety bits, well, um, yeah, the Triton Athlete 4x4, even the Philippine spec, gets some driver assist aids here uh yeah but not everything i mean it's a little bit behind when you compare it to the other lifestyle mid-size pickup trucks out there which gets the full suite of driver assist aids uh, for one we don't have adaptive cruise control here we just have standard cruise control and we also don't have any like lane keeping assist and whatnot so a bit of a bummer there but the good news is this triton at 4x4 gets seven airbags uh, pretty much the only triton in the local lineup that has seven airbags the other amenities here uh, we've got some nice uh, physical buttons for your climate control system here of course fully automatic and dual zone and um, yeah we also have the start stop engine right there in the center and uh, we also have well we don't have here in the thailand spec the hill descent control uh, but the Philippine spec uh, Triton Athlete 4x4 will get that. Of course, we also have a rear locking differential. And the Athlete 4x4 is the only Triton in the local lineup that gets seven drive modes. So we got a drive mode knob here. Uh, we, oh, sorry, drive mode button uh, right beside the Super Select 4-wheel drive uh, knob. Okay. Uh, we also have a manual handbrake here. I'm happy to see that. Because that means that if you turn off traction control on this vehicle, you can still do some J-turns in your Triton Athlete 4x4. Now, as for the cabin materials itself, well, it's, um, it's a pretty good mix of soft-touch materials. We've got some stitched leather on the middle dashboard, some stitched leather on the door card. So you've got some soft-touch materials there. 
uh, but uh, there's still a prevalence of hard pla plastics, durable plastics all around because well this is still a workhorse pickup truck although it's a lifestyle workhorse pickup truck um, yeah and it's an all black affair which to me is uh, it's a lot simpler and a, a lot um, more of a classic look and it goes quite well with some of these uh, tan accents that we have for the seats the triton athlete 4x4 gets a massive improvement here in the back seat as I said, this 6th gen Triton is actually wider than the previous gen Strada Athlete and this Triton Athlete itself is even wider than the regular Tritons and that wider body also translates to a bit more shoulder space here at the back. See so yeah, at 5 foot 6, it is a comfortable area and now you can even put a third person in the middle and all three of you will be pretty comfortable. Now, I'm, however, I'm kind of taken aback uh, because when I hopped in here, I saw that there's no rear AC vents. Now, granted, this is still the Thailand spec, so the Philippine spec may have rear AC vents or it may not have. But it's a bit of a bummer that we don't have that here. Uh, instead, we only have a 12 volt outlet plus a pair of USB charge ports. And of course, we have this center armrest here with a pair of cup holders. The truck bed of the Triton Athlete 4x4 is one of the smaller truck beds in the category because this is just a 1.5 meter by 1.5 meter square truck bed. Now, if you notice, uh, the lift gate itself is not yet power uh, assisted. It's not yet an assisted lift gate, rather. Uh, but the Triton Athletes that will arrive in the Philippines in January 2024 will have an assisted lift gate. As I said, this is still the Thailand spec. Now, as for the payload capacity, uh, we have a payload capacity of 985 kilograms, which is uh, not as much as those mid-sized pickup trucks who can haul a ton or a little bit more than a ton, but it is still quite a capable performer, right? Now, if you check out the taillight units here, we have full LED taillights, of course, and the Philippine spec uh, Triton Athlete 4x4 will also have a rubberized garnish here on the rear bumper. Uh, to help you when you're trying to get into your truck bed or get out of your truck bed. The Triton Athlete 4x4 looks and feels like an all-new truck that has improved in every area. With its more powerful bi-turbo engine, a completely redesigned interior, and aggressive good looks, the Mitsubishi Triton Athlete 4x4 is now ready to take the fight to the other mid-size 4x4 lifestyle trucks. Now I am quite excited to give this truck a proper driving review video because based on all that I've seen, I am confident that the Triton Athlete 4x4 will fully deliver. But until then, thanks for watching.